another video so yeah i got on some shades why i don't know it was in my um in my purse and i figured let me put on some shades but it's really a get ready video with me while we talk about things that i don't like in my face and stuff you know i really i typically have a story time with this but I, I ain't feel like having no story time. I feel like talking to y'all. You know, I'm sipping and talking with you guys. While Eli, come on, man. Get some more help. While I'm still being a mama. Because you know what weekend this is? Mother's Day weekend. This is Mother's Day weekend. And I have a photo shoot I have to be getting ready for. Um, so I just wanted to come on here and put on my makeup with you guys, talk to you guys in the middle of me still doing my mamiana shit. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with Eli, walking around, me yelling at him and still talking to y'all because this is what real mommies go through. This is what we really go through, especially boss mommy trying to get this money. You know what I'm saying? And I'm hot, so if this fan is loud, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm like, hot. And my AC back here, I don't know. It, it doesn't blow how it blows in the house. So, I'm, I be needing some extra air or whatnot. But, yes, this is a get ready with me. Talk to me. We're going to be talking about into any and everything. We're going to talk about mama hood. We're going to talk about... How, you know, being a wife, being an entrepreneur, being a worker, being yourself, keeping yourself, like, keeping yourself mentally right. We're going to talk about all of that today while we're getting ready for this photo shoot. So, I'm going to be talking to you guys over here, but my mirror is over here. So, when you guys see me over here, da 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 I'm working on this mirror or whatnot, but we gonna make it work. We gonna make it do what it do. So get your drink, cause we gonna be talking. If you going out, sit down and get your makeup too, cause we gonna be talking about everything, sis. Go ahead, I'm gonna let you go get your stuff together. Go ahead. While I get my makeup together. Go ahead. All right, y'all. So the first thing that I'm gonna start off with is my eyebrows. I know a lot of women, especially when I, cause last week what I was doing, uh, what I do before I do a YouTube, especially if I'm doing something different, I look it up and I see, and I try to have an idea on what other YouTubers have done on their YouTube, on their whatever it is. If I'm doing a you know, weekend vlog, if I'm doing a story time, if I'm doing a get ready me, whatever. I like to do my little research, do my little back, my homework on it so I can know what to do, how to do it and stuff like that. And I know a lot of them always have issues with doing their eyebrows on the camera because, you know, eyebrows is aren't cousins. As you guys can see, look at my, this one is higher than this one. Eyebrows are not sisters or brothers. They're actually cousins. So, they're not going to look perfectly the same. But, as long as they come together. So, right now, I just use um, this to, like, comb them out. Make sure they even or whatnot. As you, you guys, like I said, this one is higher than this one. I normally go get them arched and... and I normally go... Hey y'all, yeah. So I normally go to this one guy, but um, I didn't go to that person. I went to someone else this time, and um, I don't think I'll be going back to the new person that I went to last time because I really don't like how she did my eyebrows this time. So, one another thing that I want to tell 
especially um beginners like even though i'm not a beginner because i've been doing my make my makeup for a while now but i don't know what i'm doing what i have learned throughout the years is that you have to trust the process if you kind of already have an idea on what you want and how you want it so you kind of do your makeup that way you have to trust the process so right now my eyebrows look like angry bird but when i'm done with it it'll come together i promise so as we talking about eyebrows and stuff one of the things that have changed as i got older are my eyes like I'm low-key cock out of y'all. I'm low-key cock out of And I've been using glasses for a very long time. So what's happening to my eyes is that something about is losing, like something that holds the eyes together, that thing that holds the eyes, mine is getting loose. So it's causing one of my eyes to shift a little bit. I don't know which one right now. I think it's this one. Um, I think it's this one. You see how this one is like centered and this one is like more to the side? So, that is going on with me. As I'm getting older and been wearing glasses for a very long time, I'm getting low-key cock out it. And it don't bother me for the most part because with my glasses on, you don't see it. With my contacts on, you do see it, which it don't bother me either because with the makeup and stuff like that, I don't know, I don't, I don't really care. But you know when it bothers me, y'all, when I'm hunching. <laughs> Bitch, when I be hunching, and you know when you want to say, like, come on, come on, let's get a thousand right now. It's Mother's Day. We gonna talk about every fucking thing. So when you be doing stuff with your man and stuff, you know you wanna look at them and they so you wanna look at them in their eyes and be like, yeah, daddy, I see you doing your thing, big daddy, zig daddy, I see you, I see you. But what's going in my head is like, bitch, is you really looking at him whole like or you Bitch, is you really looking at him whole or you looking elsewhere? Like what's going on? So I just be keeping my eyes closed, like bitch, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing now, so I'm gonna just keep my eyes closed because this is where I sit. This is my safe haven right here. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, sis, that's what I've been going through with these eyes, girl. And then it's like, it's like it's getting, I want to say it's getting worse and worse because before, um, it wasn't so obvious, but I know I think now it's a lot more obvious than before. So, um, yeah, it's getting it's getting in a in a place where I can't really like hide it as much or whatever. It is um pretty much obvious, but I guess it's a part of my motherhood and getting old at this point. Cause that's just that's just a part of this thing called life. So there go my eyebrows. I'm gonna make it darker actually um the hubby don't really like really dark eyebrows so i try not to go too dark but i'm gonna color it in and i like the shape already so i'm just gonna color it in a little bit more as soon as i can find my stuff but yes child i'll be around here like i said with my glasses on you can't see it at all i don't know probably it's the medicine that i have in the glasses that kind of and you know they said that if it gets too bad i can get surgery for it where they can tighten up whatever that is inside because it's something in our eyes that i can't think of the name that actually like keeps our eyes in place or whatnot but when that start loosening up um your eyes start loosening up as well and that's what causes um, cock eyes. 
I'm going to actually put some more makeup over here to make this right here smaller, just like this eyebrow. So let's put a little bit more concealer. I got to remember which concealer I'm in. And listen, I am not, I repeat, I am not a professional. I try to figure this out. I kind of got, one of the issues I was having when doing my makeup was getting my color Hey y'all. So yeah, child. So I'll be over here cracking myself up about that or whatnot. But um, what I was saying, so yeah, so if it gets too bad or whatnot, I me getting surgery is an option, but I think it's genetic, so I don't know. I don't know, honey. <sighs> So, y'all see me? I'm so used to having my glasses off and I'm Now, like I said, I'm not no professional. I just do what I can. This eyebrow is darker than, like, this shit that's going on. That's another trick. So if you don't like your eyebrows because it's too dark, you can play with this a little bit and lighten it up. I think I'm gonna put some more concealer in there. But yeah, um, let me go ahead and concentrate on this. Follow me home. I guess. Yeah. So I'm not with nobody. Cause I don't wanna hurt nobody. Did it over text, didn't call me. Still got love for your mommy. I know you wanna be somebody. Even if you gotta leave somebody. Yes, I'm hurt. Yes, I'm dead. Most of the things I don't wanna say. You'll try to come back when you faint I always want the truth, but it's that You got something real, not that Hey, so yeah, so I had to figure out some things out the camera, but Yeah, so what y'all doing for Mother's Day tomorrow, sis? Like I hope we are taking the time to rest to make sure that our mental health is good tomorrow. I hope you guys are taking the time to like put yourself first. We don't do that a lot. We don't do that a lot and we get um we know we get judged when we put ourselves first. Like, oh you being selfish. You you going out for brunch with your girls? You being selfish. So make sure you take some time out for yourself tomorrow, sis. Even if it is just staying in bed all day, not cooking for them kids, you know, not doing what you got to do, what you normally do. Just staying in bed and relaxing and just whoopsying with a, whatever makes you happy. Glass of wine, glass of water, whatever. Watching the haves and the haves not make sure you do it tomorrow, okay? Make sure we put ourselves first tomorrow. You deserve it, okay? And make sure that you take yourself out sometime. Go get your nails done, go get your hair done, go get a pedicure. It's okay, it's okay because. Our mental health and our sanity is important too. You know, I know a lot of people don't believe this nine days because it's so much um, controversy of what a woman should do, should not do, or what a woman does or not or whatnot. But 
we definitely put ourselves in the back burner a lot of the time, especially if we have a family or especially single mothers and stuff like that. We definitely put ourselves in the back burner. So it's almost like a guilty feeling that we have when we put ourselves first. And don't, don't let tomorrow be that day. Take that day for yourself, sis. You know, it's nothing wrong with that. And if you take a couple of more days after that, ain't nothing wrong with that either. <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with that either. Ain't nothing wrong with that either. Don't make them, don't make, them make you feel bad because you love yourself, because you're showing yourself love. Because one thing I do, um, especially recently, what I do a lot is you know, meditate, you know, I, it definitely a couple of times throughout the week, I'll be like, all right, guys, um, I had a long day at work. I'm not cooking tonight. You guys have this, this, because at that moment in time, I know that is what I need. So I make sure I take that time for myself. Every single time. Yeah. Now what sucks about this makeup y'all is that I had a setting, setting spray, but I don't have it no more. So I gotta, I literally make do with what I have, y'all, cause I barely like, I don't know when was the last time I put on makeup, to be honest with y'all. I barely put on makeup, and when I do wanna put on makeup, I don't be having what I need. So I make do with what I have. Okay. All right, so now we gonna just put this powder here. And I don't even know if I be doing this right, y'all. I ain't gonna lie y'all. I be um, over here playing with this stuff, hoping that They come out right. So I'm gonna let that sit. Cause that's what they say you're supposed to do. Not cause I know what I'm doing, but that's what they say you're supposed to do. So I'm gonna just let that sit. And I'm gonna go ahead, <coughs> put on my eyelashes. So I'm gonna turn this off. Cause I need to concentrate. I'm trying to see what else. But yeah, that's how I keep my sanity, y'all. I really do take time for myself. Another thing, if you um if you are like have a significant other and stuff like that, you know, make sure that you that you still part out of put yourself first and put your feelings first and just make sure that you check in with yourself too. I think that really helps. Um, in marriages and stuff like that, it's just making sure that you okay, that you're not really, you're going to have to sacrifice a lot in a marriage or in a relationship, but you don't have to sacrifice yourself, if that makes sense. So make sure that you, you make sure that you always check on yourself first, like, hey, that, that what you're about to do, is that really okay with you? Or the how is, is that really making you feel? So, you know, just make sure you okay, cause you can't be a better version of you if you're not okay. And that's a fact, okay? <laughs> Don't mind this, y'all. I think I put too much off camera. <laughs> Anyways, that's what you find yourself in these relationship where you be like, bitch, I don't know who I am. I lost myself, and this and this and this and that you know, devoting so much of yourself to that family, to whatever the case may be, which I'm not saying you shouldn't because you should, but you have to find a middle ground, a balance of loving yourself and checking care, checking on yourself too. Self-love is very, very important. 
And I feel like a lot of times we don't we don't check on ourselves or we 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 put ourselves in a background burner because we don't have self love. We don't have self love. If you really think about it, growing up, what we was taught, we was taught well. Growing up, I was taught to take care of others. Was taking care of yourself was selfish. Making sure you was okay was selfish. Always put others first. So, so. So God will bless you. I was raised in a Christian household, so I ain't know no other way but to take care of others. Not realizing I was really hurting myself. Not realizing I didn't know who Yesenia was. And you get in these relationships in these situationships with that same mentality where you're accepting so much from these people and you're forgetting your values, your morals, what's important to you, what makes you happy. So you're tolerating so much, not realizing you're still sacrificing yourself to make another person happy, to make other people other happy. And sometimes we find ourselves in long term situations doing the same thing. And you don't realize that you're lost or you don't know who you are until that circumstances terminates itself. Then you gotta go through a whole, then we find ourselves going through a whole self-love journey. So, I say that to say, when you go through that journey, make sure you keep those lessons. Cause you look, you look, you useless, you useless to someone if you don't have self love. If you do not love yourself, you're gonna be useless to the person that comes to the picture next time. <laughs> So put yourself first, sis. Ain't nothing wrong with it. So. I'm all done, y'all. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish up my face, and then we're going to try out, because I want to try out the outfits that I'm going to, because I'm doing a 625 Boutique um photo shoot. Two of the outfits are return outfits, but I think they'll be really cute to um, promote for Mother's Day weekend because the colors and stuff. And three outfits are new new inventory. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up my makeup right quick. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the, new, the three new items or whatnot. So see you guys in a minute. Hey, y'all. So unfortunately, y'all not going to be able to see the whole set, kind of. But this is the first set. Um... I don't know if the video is even giving justice, but these are some biker shorts that comes with it. Um, it does not come with shorts, so you have to find um, panties to put on with it. It doesn't come with panties um, attached to the biker, to the shorts. Um, I have some tights that's kind of like this, but it comes with the panties, so you don't have to worry about panties, but it's not the case. You have to have your own black um, panties, you know, to put underneath it. But this is the first outfit. Very cute. I haven't styled it all up yet. Just wanted to come on here, make sure it fit me, and just show you guys right quick. I'm going to show you guys outfit number two. Hey, guys. So this is the second outfit. Um, I have to still play with it. But this is the same, second outfit. 
Um, I have to figure out how to like make it lower, but and I still have on my other panties, so it might look crazy from the back. But this is outfit number two. Yeah. Hey y'all! So this is outfit number three. It is a dress. Um, true to size. All these outfits are true to size, or I gained weight. So I'm actually yeah. But true to size, this is a large. Um, definitely had a hassle to get in here. Um, I'm gonna pair this with some shades, a white purse, and some white shoes. And then that's pretty much it. So this is quick little try on. Um, I've got two more outfits, but you guys, if you haven't seen it, just go on Six to Side Boutique. They are already posted up. I'm just gonna bring them back because I think the colors are very um, pretty mother's day colors so you guys stay tuned make sure you follow me on all social media 625 boutique alex and ye vlogs um you send me a foster on facebook 625 boutique on um facebook as well thank you guys for joining me today i hope everybody have a wonderful mother's day and once again don't forget to like comment and subscribe it is your girl ye two three